Hey friends, I'm here. I'm just rolling in from work and uh, going by Walmart and picking up my grocery order because I don't go into Walmart anymore and do grocery orders. I just don't have time for that. So I put in my uh, order online and then went by and picked it up. And now I'm just flying in here by the seat of my pants. I put away the perishables. And uh, now I'm here and I am really excited about this event, 31 Days of Halloween. And I have to tell you, I've been thinking about this particular project for a little while now um, because I love cats and I have a black cat. And so it seemed fitting for me to do a cat project. Hello, my friend Cheryl. How are you this evening? Um, so I am going to settle in here. Y'all come on in. I'm going to get y'all pulled up on my iPad, get all the things going. But if you will do me the huge favor of sprinkling and hitting those emojis to wake up the algorithm, hit the hearts, let the algorithm know something's happening over here on this page, that would just be fabulous. All right, so let me get y'all pulled up. Almost there. Well, it just closed on me for some reason. Hang on. Well, y'all, come on, Facebook. Y'all. Facebook won't stay open on my page, on my iPad. It's like, what in the world? Hey, Teresa, thank you for inviting me and including me in 31 Days of Halloween. So, y'all, I may not be able to see comments. Let's see. Hang on. What in the world right now? Okay, I'm going to try to shut down my iPad. We ain't got time for this now. We got things to do and create. I'll try to shut it down and see if I can reboot it. That's strange. It's like every time I go into the Facebook icon, it just totally um, shuts down. I mean, like pops it off. So we're just going to make do until I can get this up and running. Um, but I know you're going to want to see. Hey there, Vicki. How are you? Y'all, it has been a whirlwind the past couple of weeks. I was in the Driftwood and Shine retreat last weekend down in Dothan, Alabama. And Saturday, well, tomorrow, hey, Tabitha, how are you? Yes, I know. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you. And uh, y'all haven't touched up my makeup or anything. Y'all seeing the real me right now. Um, I know I've got something very cool in mind. I'm trying to get my iPad back up so I can see comments, but I won't wait too long. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all in my mount because we got things to do, right? Hello, Cindy. How are you? And I just can't see the comments as well on my phone, so I'm hoping this is going to cooperate. That's very strange. I can see the Facebook here on my, on my phone, but when I try to pull it up on my iPad, it wasn't staying but I think it's going to work now. I guess I just needed to reboot. Okay. Now we're cooking. All right, y'all. I'm going to swap comments from here. I'm going to turn you down to my surface. And we're going to get started. So, let me tell y'all. I've just got um, 8 by 10 canvas board here. Nothing super fancy. I love the canvas boards rather than the stretched canvases because they're easy to frame. Where's my scissors? And they're easy to store. They don't take up a lot of room. And y'all, listen, I have just flown in on two wheels and I haven't properly talked to my fur babies. And so you're liable to hear a ruckus in the background. Y'all know what a ruckus is? Yes, you're liable to hear a ruckus. Okay, so here I have this canvas board and I have a vision. And so I, I hate to reveal everything right off the bat because I love surprises. So I'm just gonna kind of begin and let y'all just kind of see how it unfolds. I was where in Bama? I was in Dothan, which is south, almost Mississippi. And uh, hello, poppies and pansies. Oh, Tabitha, you're so sweet, girl. Yes, thank you for sprinkling. There's Judy. Hello. I'm, I'm shaking up my paint while I say hello to y'all. I live in Huntsville, but I was down in Dothan uh, for their retreat. And I'm looking for my wide paintbrush. Hang on. I've got, I want to go kind of wide. I thought I had a good mid-size, and they're just hiding from me at the moment. 
Okay. So, friends, I'm going to start with an orange. And I am using Waverly Chalk Paint. Just, I, I just love it, mainly. And I'm going to come down right about three-fourths of the way down. And I'm going to do orange down through here. We're just going to put in a, a nice layer. So tell me, how are y'all doing? What are y'all into? Y'all, I still have not started decorating for fall. I've got a few little things out here and there, but uh, next Friday on Craft Around the Clock, it's Dress Your Door Day, and I am going to do my fall wreath on that segment. That's my plan. So that will be a big help. It's to get, get my door done there. Okay, y'all are not gonna believe what's in my brain right now, I'm just saying. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna pull in is this Waverly Chalk Paint in Maze. I better shake it up real quick. Shake it up a little bit, get it. I just used it recently, but sometimes it settles. And There you go. So as you guys hop on, if y'all would do me a big favor, and sprinkle out and um, hit those hearts and emojis so the algorithm wakes up. And also in our 31 Days of Halloween event, go over to my friend Teresa Grant's page, Teresa's Spot for Silhouette Art. Did I say that right? Girl, put your link in here if, if I did that wrong. Um, I'm just kind of doing an ombre is my plan here. And so I'm blending on down into my orange. And let me wash my brush real quick because I want to come on up with some of that pure yellow. And I'm keeping a mystery of what I'm creating. I've seen a lot of questions out there about whether or not you like candy corn. I like candy corn. I can't eat a bunch of it, uh, but I do like it. So I'm just blending that yellow on down into my orange to get a nice blend and ombre effect. See how that line just kind of disappears right there? There we go. All right, there's that. And this is kind of just setting the stage. We are setting the stage. And now I'm going to grab my Snow White Waverly Chalk Paint. Hold on. Right there, snow white color. Candy corn sunset. Lisa's pretty smart there she is. Hello, Charlotte. How are you, my friend? Thank you for sprinkling, you guys. Y'all, I finally topped 9,500. It has been a struggle. I am hoping that I will eventually get to a point where that algorithm will start to play nice. But it just doesn't really want to all that much. I'm going to scrape off this paint off this lid because I hate wasting paint. Hold on. Let me get my brush clean. But wait till y'all see what I've got planned for the rest of this here. So I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to start at the very top and lay that in and then bring it down into the yellow. And hopefully that yellow is still wet enough that we can get a nice blend. I might have to pick up some more yellow. No, it may work fine. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Isn't that pretty? I do want a little bit stronger yellow through there, so let me pull that in. I'm gonna close up my light real quick. I don't want a mess, and that would be just about my speed today. Yes, it would. All right, here's my maze. Grab my maze again. Get my brush clean. Grab a little more of this maze right through here. Just want that to be a little more prominent and not so faded out. I'm just going to work it up. There we go. What do y'all think? So far, so good? All right. 
I kind of like that. What do y'all think? All right, so next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Waverly again. I love the Waverly's as a foundation paint because they just don't just soak up and you can pretty much get things done in one coat. So, so that little crummy off right there. It's where it has dried on my lids when I open them. I'm trying to open them over the trash can though. All right, so we're gonna put black down here at the bottom, just solid black. I wanna be careful as I come up into the orange and I want a distinct line. Concentrating, friends. Get this foundation done, and then we got some details we're going to add in. Can you see it? What do you think? You like what you see? I know. I'm excited about Katie's retreat. Regina, how are you? Oops, I missed somebody. Thank you, Miss Judy. Into football for grands and playoffs. Oh, girl, I remember those days. I'm almost there, Estelle. Okay, let's dry this a little bit. We're going to work on some details. I know, I am almost there. It's like loving the blend. Thank you, Miss Anita. Um, I tell you, this 10,000 benchmark, it's almost like once I get to 10,000, I don't care anymore. I, I mean, I care, but I don't care because I guess because Facebook is so unreliable, but it's just a goal of every creative to hit that 10,000. It's cut the coveted 10,000, but it's really, it's really just a number, but it is a goal. Okay, I'm going to come up here and dry this a little bit. And then I'm going to flip my paper towel over so y'all can see a little bit better of how this canvas looks. Yes, y'all, the more y'all comment and hit those emojis for me, the better it helps with that algorithm. That's the secret, is getting that algorithm to cooperate and get pushed out so we can grow. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. And then we can see a little bit better what we have going on here. Okay. So, I am now, let me get this brush clean. And we're going to be working primarily with black. We're going to do more of a silhouette project. So, I'm going to go ahead and use my friction pen that I cannot live without. I'm going to kind of sketch in what I'm seeing in my mind. Um, and my friction pen I love because it is disappearing ink. And that paint up there is not quite dry. That's okay. It's all good. And then we're going to put, this is just my, my brain. And I don't have to worry a ton about these markings because they're going to disappear when I start drying and painting. I'm just trying to lay in some sketch work. Boy, that yellow is really not dry yet. I need to dry it some more. Let's get it a little more dry. It is acrylic. Actually, this is the chalk paint that I've laid down first. Acrylic chalk paint. Like, here's the black acrylic paint, but it is Waverly chalk, okay? Which is great for putting down as an initial surface. I have 
have no idea what he's a barking about, but he's telling it. He's my buddy. Get a little drier through here so I can do my sketching. See, it made my ink things disappear, and that's fine. It's all good, because I was wanting to do the house just a little bit different. So we're going to put a spooky house in here. Make it a little smaller. We're going to have a tree. Because I want it to be kind of in the distance is my vision. I'm going to put a chimney up here just to give it a little more something, something. But we're not going to see a ton of details, okay? But right through here, up close. So this is going to be larger, and you're probably going to think, I don't get it. It's okay. Things that are in the distance are smaller. And I might go up a little bit. I'm sketching. Okay, so let's get this painted in first, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and use this Waverly paint, uh, uh, black chalk paint again, because as I'm painting over these strong colors, it's going to give better coverage. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use my detail brush first. You love the ombre? Thank you. I do too. It's fun. Ombre is fun. I'm going to start with my tree. And I'm using a detail brush to kind of outline and then we'll fill in. But I've been thinking about this kind of project for a while. Doing a silhouette kind of style painting. Thinking about all the different branches and I don't know. It's just been just been on my mind. I'm gonna put some squiggly like, let's bring this over. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush since I feel pretty good about this so far. And do the trunk of my tree and some of these major limbs. And then we'll put in our sprigs. Just want to get a nice solid color for them. There's not a right way or a wrong way to do a tree, friends, if you want to try one. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and put in the little offshoots from that. Y'all, it's really beginning to cool down here in Huntsville, Alabama. I mean, it's not cold. But it's really a big difference, which thankfully it is because it's been hot. I hope Texas gets some relief. They have really been through it. And so we're just putting in the little details for our silhouette. We don't have to be super particular because you know trees are just they're just everywhere. These limbs. I'm 
there we go. I'm going to put a few more right up there here that are a little bit lighter. More petite. I'm going to bring this one in a little bit more. It's such a large branch. But it's kind of carrying off. <laughs> Everything's got a story. It's kind of carrying off in behind the house. Okay, now let's base in our house. And we're going to have to play this by ear a little bit. It's like I have a vision, but not completely worked out. So I want it to be kind of off a little kind of crooked because spooky houses are kind of like that. Kind of square this up a little more. And I'm going to make these jagged more straight. So I don't have to worry about a ton of detail with this. Let's go ahead and put a little chimney indication. Okay. detail brush out again. We're going to square this up a little bit. What do you think? You like it? Oh, good. Let's draw this. So in my mind, this is kind of in the distance. Y'all, we could even put some more back in behind. More tree indication back in here. Um, paint's gotten a little thick on me. Let me thin it down a little bit with some water. Because it's not wanting to flow very well. It's a little bit better. So I'm trying to give the indication of another tree in behind the house. Okay. All right, let's work on our fence. And I may change this, this fence up a little bit. Let me get a little bit of black out on my palette here because I'm gonna be using a little bit more than what's in the lid. Hang on. It's coming out slowly but surely. There we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Hold on, I've got a ton of paint on my brush. Get this cleaned off a little bit. Bear with me just a second. Okay, so now we're going to put in our fence. And I'm probably going to narrow this up a little bit compared to what I had. And again, this does not have to be perfect. Okay. 
Yeah. Can y'all hear me okay? It was working before. I thought it was. Y'all need to tell me if I need if y'all can't hear me. I don't have a microphone on. I'm just using what's on my phone. And it's right here by my face. Okay, good. Maybe try going out and come back in, Miss Janice. So I am changing up my fence post a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Let me turn this around a little. I was going to talk to y'all, since this is a Halloween event, about how Halloween really got started. I meant to have researched that and be all prepared for some good, fun information. <laughs> That did not happen, and I'm so sorry, because it's really, I think it started out being St. Hallow's Eve or something like that, and we've just kind of evolved Halloween into what it is today, but I always think it's interesting to know what the root of something is, how it started. in a couple of rails here. If somebody knows that, feel free to add it in the comments and share. Okay, let me dry this. Oh good, I'm glad everybody can hear me okay. There's my friend Teresa. How are you, girl? It's good, Rena says. How are you doing, my friend Rena? Must be your phone. Oh, I see, Miss Janice. I got you. Okay. I'm going to get my sweet friction pen out again. See if I can get the ink flowing well. Because this is what I want to do. I've been thinking about this, y'all. I told you. Let's see if I can pull it off. Have some little feet. A lot of this you're not going to see because it's just going to be the silhouette. Okay, so now let's lay in our cat. I know, I know, Rena. Are you loving this? Oh, good, Teresa. Teresa, you're a great artist, so oh, I feel like I've, I have accomplished something if, if you're enjoying my content, girlfriend. Okay, so let's put in our cat. And we'll have a couple of other little things in here, too, to kind of give it a little spice. I think I'm also going to need, I'm going to have to rock back and forth between my detail brush and my flat brush 
Do you love it? Oh, good. I'm so thankful. Round out that little body. Y'all, my black cat, It's she's a tuxedo cat. Now, she's pretty good size. She's, I wouldn't say she's fat. She's just a larger cat, and she's the sweetest thing. She just, she cuddles up with me every night. I'm kind of filling in some of these little divots in the canvas. Let's get our little feet in here. We don't have to be super particular because it is a silhouette. So that's kind of neat that you don't have to have all the fine details. So we're gonna make the head kind of triangular. We'll make the ears a little bit bigger than I have them drawn. I think Baxter chased one of the kitties and they told him how it was. I heard a little yelp. That's what you get. Okay. Now y'all don't make too much fun of my kitty cat. Trying to get the ears even, but not being extremely successful. But maybe it'll pass. I think I'm gonna bring that tail on around too. Put a little whip on the end. Let me kind of work on this a little bit more. I think if I go a little wider, a little rounder on that head, it'll help the ears. That's what I think. What do y'all think? Is anyone freezing? Hey there, Christy. If you're freezing up, try going out and come back in. Let me get this tail a little wider at the base. Okay. Now, this is kind of what I'm thinking. Let me get these brushes clean. I am going to grab, I'm gonna use a different shade instead of this color, this is also a chalk paint, which is good because I'm gonna put it against this black, but this is Summer Porch. It's a softer, it's a softer shade of yellow. <clears throat> Get a little bit of that out here. I better close this up lest I spill it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my smaller flat brush Concentrating, y'all. Now, if y'all decide to give this a try, yours may look way better than mine, and I am okay with that. So I'm gonna come over to this side, kind of square this up a little.
Here we go. You can hear the crows. <laughs> oh, here we go. Halloween origins are, are from Celtic festivals of Samhain. It marked the end of summer and the harvest and the beginning of the dark, cold winter. On the night of October 31st, they celebrated Samhain, I guess I'm saying that right, when it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to earth. The Celts built huge bonfires and wore costumes to ward off ghosts. Hey, Belinda, welcome. Oh, Christy, I'm so sorry, girl. You do, Janice? Oh, I know. Thank you so much, y'all. I want to put in just a little more. Like, I like to see things kind of run off the edge because it lets your brain think there's more going on. You know what I mean? Makes you think there's more happening to the story. Okay. So I wanted to put some light on this. Now the other thing I want to do, this is kind of cool, I hope. I hope. All right. I'm going to get my detail brush. Get a nice point on it. I wanted the cat's eyes to glow. What do you think? And so I'm also thinking Oh, good. I'm so glad y'all love it. All right, so now I'm going to fill in. This is supposed to be a pumpkin. So this is kind of fun because with the silhouette painting, you kind of just have to do the outlines, and then you just don't worry about all the intricate details. Let's put a smaller one right through here. How about that? That would kind of balance that out a little. Okay, we gotta put our stems and stuff on. Hello, Deborah, welcome. Okay, let's put the little stems. So we know they're pumpkins. And kind of clean up these edges through here. Get them a little tidy. Need to tidy up right here too. And I want to kind of go ahead add some little curlies in here. Backs 
textures. Just these little dark details. Baxter, oh my goodness, y'all. What do y'all think? Baxter. Hello, B. I need to add a little more yellow to my windows because now that they've dried, I can see they need a little bit more. I'm going to have to use the flat brush. The detail brush is not. Y'all, I'm sorry about Baxter. He's just being a little toot. Baxter, if he starts making your dog's bark, I'm so very sorry. Baxter. I'm so sorry. He's weirded me out, y'all. I worry about y'all. What's scary is I'll be here at night and he'll get a little late. And all of a sudden, he'll just start tearing and barking toward the front door. And I'm like, I turn it on my doorbell camera to see what's out there. There's nothing out there. I'm like, stop doing that to mama. You're scaring me. Okay, you guys. I know. He thinks he is anyway. Oh, that's a good idea. Make one of these pumpkins have a jack-o'-lantern face. That's a good idea. Y'all have amazing ideas, y'all. See if I can pull it off. I need my smaller detail brush. Where is that thing? I saw it. Let me try this one. This one. No, I really need that T9 one. I've got one that, y'all, it's such a small detail brush, it barely has any hair on it. This is it. I don't know if y'all can see. Look, it's barely got any hair on it. <laughs> but it's, it does the trick when you need those really intricate details. There we go. What do you think? Oh, let's put, hold on. I just thought about this. Let's do, right up here. Let's see, where do I want? Maybe here. Let's put a crow up here. How about that? Maybe I can. Kind of do one. Kind of do it like that. What do y'all think? another one. Kind of big, aren't they? Maybe they're buzzards. I thought I'd try to make his wings out a little.
What do you think? Since you can hear them, Rena. <laughs> All right, friends. This is what I had on my brain. I thought it would make kind of a neat look. We could. We could. Hang on. Let me think about this for half a second. I'm going to try this. Let's try to put some kind of a something something up here. I'm going to use yet. This is more of a golden color. It's called Moon Yellow. And maybe we can kind of Now, sometimes you can see the moon. I'm going to use another little bit of a lighter yellow. And let me do this. Hang on, y'all. One little detail here. Let's see if I can pull this off. I hate to overdo it. I want to be careful. What do you think? Yes. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like it's done. I think I've hit all the elements. And I'm pretty pleased. I am pretty pleased. All right. Yay, I'm so glad y'all love it. Thank you. Let me flip y'all back around. I'll post a picture. And you got me again. So thank you all for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, Teresa, for doing this event. I have enjoyed it. Thank you, Miss Janice. Y'all hold it up again. Here's our completed project. It's probably backwards for you, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you ladies so much. Well, y'all, I'm gonna hop off of here. I got to get some things done because my friend Wendy's coming to my house tomorrow because we're gonna fly out Saturday morning to go see Katie for her retreat. So I got a little bit of housework to do to get ready for Wendy. But y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to me, give me a follow and hang out with me sometime and join my Telegram channel. And that way you'll always know when I go live. Y'all have a blessed evening and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye friends. Good night.